Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Carl Lofton, and today we're gonna do another review for right about now, of course, once again. So, um, apparently, I just finished watching uh, Hellraiser uh, last night. Uh, it was very great. I, I had to say, um, this one better than, uh, you know, from Halloween Ends, of course. And I gotta say, um, it looks very perfect. I tried to, like, um, <laughs> you know, <laughs> make certain on you a bunch of jump scares or any bullshit, man. But, um, there yet, I think I like it. And you know what else that I always like? I mean, call me a freak or whatever. I just in love with um, the Hell Priest, of course. Or called the Pinhead, I believe. Because I believe um, she's the she's the leader of the uh, Xenobites. Or I believe. That's what it calls the 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 scene the ceno the ceno bites yeah the ceno bites I believe and um I just want to say um uh, shout out to um Jamie Clayton you know she plays so well and I got and I gotta say um you know she always reminds me of Lady Demetrius I know a lot of people are attracted to her <laughs> because that's that's how it is man that's how it goes through man. And, I mean, that's how it is, man, and, um, and, you know, I always wanted to attract some monster lady, or, I don't know, killer lady, or, or, um, I mean, I mean, there's a lot of people that are attracted to some monster, or supernatural stuff like werewolves and vampires and stuff like that because I see how a lot of people get most attracted to it including myself of course <laughs> I mean like I said man call me a freak or whatever could or or else but uh that's that's how I am that's how I do of course <laughs> but um but yeah man um Somehow I'm gonna take a look at a bit, a little bit of the storyline, of course. So in case you don't know, it's it's the story. It's about you know the puzzle box, of course. And it's kind of hurt how this happened. Very painful, and you know how it is, because you know if I ever wish that Mortal Kombat would put PN on here, that'd be so cool, because I would love to play him. Or her, because um, there's a lot of different options of it. So yeah, my bad. I'm sorry, but um, but yeah, I only ho I wish that uh, they would put Mortal Kombat. They put um, pin in on Mortal Kombat because it's so cool how it makes sense to do so. And knowing for for fact of how it how it does, man, I I wish that would happen. Maybe it'll happen in Mortal Kombat 12. I hope so. Because maybe, I guess, um. Um. I guess we'll have to see if. Um. If they're gonna put on 3D fighting games or 2D fighting games for Mortal Kombat 12. Because I'm very excited about it. I hope it'll happen sooner or later. But, um. But yeah, but let's get things on. So apparently, um, I think there's this guy named, what's his name? Uh, oh, Roland Voight. Yeah, Roland Voight, I believe. And... I think he's the only one that can solve the puzzle box before that, and um, I mean that's how it happened before that. I mean it sucks they didn't show the whole 
see a blood and guts thing. Well, almost half of them because, um, I don't know, there's not, a, not a much of seeing the whole blood and guts of it. I mean, I understand because uh, they, they will probably get freaked out if that ever happens, so I understand that how it happens, so yeah. But, um, but yeah, so also, um, if they have absolutely happened to get that puzzle box in real life, um, I don't know, man. I feel like, um,. I feel like that's how it happens, <laughs> you know. But yeah, so um, um, oh yeah. So there's this girl, um, you know, there's this girl who actually um, you know, get a lot of drunk and all that stuff, and um, you know, the whole drug addiction stuff, and um been having some ups and downs, you know, with his brother, and then when, and then, you know, and then when she found the, uh, when she found one of the puzzle box, you know, she's the only one that can solve it, and, um, and also, you know, somehow his brother found it, from somewhere I was hoping and then when she and then when he knows you know his brother's gone of course of course that happens to appear from the puzzle box of course and I'm telling you man somehow it always happens when bad stuff happens and you know That's the only thing about it, but also I like the ending because when you know something that you regret, you know, not saving your brother for not, you know, bring him back to the real world, and she was like, you know what? Nah, I can't do it. I better off on my own without my brother and releasing my friends, of course, and um. That's the only thing. You just had, you just had to make your own decision of, you know, not wanting to save your own brother. But she understands completely, because he rather just, you know, be with his own self. And yeah, that's how it is. And there's this, uh, I think Roland was, you know, I believe she is up now. I believe he's going to be a Klinobite, so that's happened at the end, and very painful hurt, because, you know, how those damn hook be all that painful and stuff, and I, I know, and I have to say, um, I like the storylines, I ain't gonna lie, it's very good, but they kind of show the whole bloody guts things, but I understand they won't show it because it like get like fainted and stuff like oh oh yeah by the way you know about the terror uh terrifier 2 yeah terrifier 2 a lot one of these people got vomited and fainted because it gets too much glory and stuff i was like wow <laughs> now i just fucking grown ass people get Freaked out for no reason, man. Cause that, that shit, man. I mean, I don't blame them, but it's just a movie. I understand it's not real and stuff, but if they take it way too much graphic, I don't know what. I don't know what they were gonna do to like this band for no reason. <laughs> I mean, maybe Art the Clown can be the next of uh, a Mortal Kombat. I mean, I hope that would be cool. That would be so cool. Maybe for Mortal Kombat 12, that would be so cool to have it happen. So, yeah. But, um, also, let's take a look at the characters. 
Um, apparently, what's her name is um Riley, and I believe that Riley been going. Like I said, been going. She could be going through ups and downs situations, and um, not bad. And even though that she has some messed up situation when she's being chased by the Queeno bites. And, um, you know, try her best to find his friend, but fell miserably because I know that she didn't want to save her brother for all times. And I understand, because, uh, you know what? Fuck it. I just don't want to save my own brother. I'm just going to live this shit on my own. So, yeah, that's how it is, man. And, um, the Hell Priest. And I have to say, um, she's not that bad. I mean, she is, I mean, hella fine, of course. Don't judge me, okay? I'm just saying, that's all. But, um, <laughs> but, um, oh, yeah, Colin, Colin, you. You train son of a bitch. I just know that you were behind all this this whole time to like try to retrieve the boxes, postal boxes, of course, by rolling, of course. So, yeah, spoiler. I'm um, sorry about that. Um, uh, Matt, uh, somehow Matt is, Matt is gay. Um, I mean, I know that, um, been having some problems with his sister, you know, having some drug problems and stuff. And it sucks that it's, it sucks that he died very quickly, of course. But but you you get the point. You get the point with all the spoilers stuff. So I apologize. I'm sorry. But yeah. So next is Nora. I mean. Nora could have stayed alive, of course. I, I was just hoping. I mean, it sucks, but um, yeah, it's very sucks. Oh, and also Trevor. Um, I mean, lucky that Trevor is, <laughs> lucky that Trevor is still alive, of course. I mean, I, I mean, I don't, I don't know how he was, I mean, how sorry, how he was still alive, of course. So, yeah, but um. And going on the rest of the characters, they look great and awesome, of course. And, um, and I have to say, um, I am glad to, um, to see, I'm glad to see more of Hell Races, um, if it comes out for a sequel, of course, which I hope will happen. Of course, so yeah, but um, but this is great. I like it because um, I'm gonna get this um Hellraiser um eight out of ten, of course, because um, it looks great. But the problem is um, I don't know if it rushed or something or I don't know, but um. But they could show the whole bloody good things. I understand, like I said, because the whole, you know, a lot of people get fainted and stuff. But like, oh, <laughs> I mean, I mean, I just want to see it, of course. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I don't want to see it too much, but um. <laughs> But I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. It's, it's giving the death scene and stuff like that. But yeah. Um. But yeah. Uh, that's all for my review from Hellraisers. Um. But also, there is one more thing that I was gonna do. I was gonna do one reaction that I did miss out or something. But hopefully. Y'all join my review, but next time I'm gonna be reviewing House of Dragons when I finish up what I catching up to do. So um, 
so yeah, so I'm gonna finish up the House of Dragons season one, and um, and next we're actually gonna be finishing up of The Walking Dead, and um, hopefully, hopefully I will finish up as long as I could. So yeah, so I wanna say thank y'all so much for y'all very support, and um, you know what? I'm gonna get started from the little bit of reaction video, so uh, stay tuned for that one, and I'll see y'all in the reaction videos.